Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing an update to my unboxing video that I did on this channel for Radeon 7. So I've been playing around with the card, I've been testing it, everything works fine. Um, I would say it's a very good competitor to RTX 2080 or even a 1080 Ti. Um, the thing that I've noticed though, the only one negative thing is the fan noise, it's just way too loud. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you guys how I managed to tame the fan or make it more uh, bearable with the custom fan profile and Wattman that I put together, as well as my undervolt settings. So hopefully this will help you guys out if you also want to uh, reduce the card's noise. So I ran some tests here while I was testing the fan profile uh, using the Heaven Sword benchmark. So you can see that's the score. Uh, with the quiet fan profile. If we look at this with the stock fan profile with the undervolt I'm getting 113.723 and with the quiet fan profile quiet uh, default fan profile for those wondering is 2900 RPM which is very loud and very annoying in fact I kind of find the fan noise slightly more annoying than the stock reference Vega 64. We'll do a noise test here in the video. We'll cut away to that in a little bit when I'm testing it uh, so you guys can hear what it sounds like. I have a noise test video of the Vega 64 reference so you can compare looking at that video and compare it to this one if you want to see, if you want to gauge for yourself the differences in the noise. But it really just depends on you as a as the end user, like what's your tolerance for noise. Me, I can't stand it. It has to be quiet. It has to be quiet. Like, so 2100, 2200 RPM is the maximum that I'll allow. And keep in mind, this is coming from someone who has the desktop on the floor under the desk uh, with a carpeted floor. So, and to me, 2400 is still too loud. So that's like my kind of thing. I can show you guys my setup real quick. If you want to see like where the Radeon 7 is, there it is down there on the floor. You can see it, and you can see the the case is a Corsair 600T. Uh, so it's a mesh panel here. So the it's a mesh panel, so it can actually breathe through the side of the case. It's completely open there. For the let's look at the undervolt. So this a lot of people don't really do these type of videos because of the silicon lottery. It very it depends greatly on your specific card. So some cards may be better than this, some cards may be worse than this. So I'm the type of guy who tends to go uh, conservative on the undervolt or the overclock because I want to, I test it quite a bit with different games uh, to make sure that it's stable. So when undervolting, so if we look at the stock, the stock is 1132 millivolts, so it's like somewhere up here. 1801 megahertz uh, that's the default max clock at 1030 millivolts. So 1030 millivolts or 1.03 volts is what I got for a good 24 7 stable undervolt. Um, so for those wanting to try undervolt settings, you can try my settings. This is an example of a pretty decent undervolt, I would say. So for the fan profile, what I've done is I've developed a uh, custom manual fan profile that will not exceed uh, 2200 RPM. So if you guys look at this, so you can use my settings if you want. Uh, I didn't change the first, like the low speed ones. I only changed these three over here. These are the higher speed ones. So let's go look at these. So what I did was, you can just copy my settings if you want. 68C, that 68C, I made it run at 30 or 67C is 36% fan speed. Then at 81C, it's 41% fan speed. And the maximum I'll allow at 95C is only 45% fan speed. So I tried 50% fan speed here. That ends up around 2400 RPM. I couldn't stand that. So I had to drop it down by 5%. So this, this makes it run at like 20, 2150, somewhere around like 2100 to 2200 RPM which is very similar to a GTX 1080 Founders Edition in terms of the fan noise. So it's relatively quiet. You'll still be able to hear it if you listen for it, but if you're wearing headphones, at that point you won't really notice it. So I think this is a very good compromise. Hopefully, 
uh, AMD, if they're watching this video or if they're looking for ways to make like a quiet mode, because I think there was a rumor that AMD, or at least from the tech press, they were talking about, like AMD was telling them that they're going to come out with a quiet mode uh, setting in Wattman. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, the, the bad thing is there's no second BIOS on this card, unlike Vega 64, so there's no uh, lower power BIOS. You just kind of have to do everything in Wattman, which I, I'm i not a big fan of, but at this point, I have found an, a pretty good profile, fan profile that works for me at least, in terms of the noise reduction. So that's very good, and if you guys manage to undervolt it even better than me, like if you got a better card than mine in terms of undervolt capability, then that, that's it, good, because then more power to you, then you can actually even reduce the noise further. So people are probably going to be saying, well, enthusiasts shouldn't care about the noise. Well, a lot of us actually do play games for, like on the weekend, for like five plus hours at a time, and don't want to be sitting around with a really, really loud a graphics card, where even with the headphones, at 2900 RPM, you're still going to hear that fan. Like You're still going to hear it. So, depends on the user, I know, but for me, 2100 is good. It's a good fan speed, good trade-off. This is what it sounds like. Alright, so now I've set it back to auto. So you can see the auto fan profile. Alright, this is the stock fan profile. This is what it sounds like. All right, so you guys, you guys be the judge of the fan. To me, 2900 is just way too loud. It's just as bad as the reference blower style one, even though that one only ran at 2400 RPM. Noise profile's the same. I don't like the noise profile at all, so I have to run a custom fan profile and I have to undervolt it. Guys, hope you found that video useful and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.